Hey boys and girls, this book is called Engineering with Light and Sound uh, by Ashley Chase, and this is an Amplify Science book. Engineering with Light and Sound. This is the table of contents. The table of contents is a very important feature of a nonfiction text. It tells you what subjects or what chapters are going to be in the book, and then it tells you what pages they are on. What is an engineer? Engineers make things to solve problems. They call this designing. Engineers design solutions to problems. This man is an engineer. Now, this is another important feature of nonfiction text, and a couple things you're gonna notice on this page is, one, there's a title or a chapter heading right here. You're gonna notice that vocabulary words are in bold. They're a little bit darker um, so that you know that they're vocabulary words and will most likely be located in the back of the book in the glossary. This is our pictures, and pictures can give you a lot of information about a nonfiction text, and there's a caption. The captions also can give you a lot of information about nonfiction text. These engineers are designing solutions. First, engineers learn all that they can about a problem. Next, they plan how to solve the problem. And once they have finished planning, they make their solutions. Then engineers test their solutions to see if they work. They may need to change their solutions or try new solutions. Engineers plan, make, and test lots of solutions. They try to make their solutions better and better. These engineers are testing the rover they made. They want to find out how well it can drive on slippery sand. Designing lights sources. All light comes from a source. Engineers design light sources for all kinds of uses. They design light sources for reading. They design light sources for safety. They design light sources for fun. When engineers design a light source, they think about how much light should come from the source. They also think about the surfaces they want the light to get to and how bright they want these surfaces to be. And you can see different types of lights. That looks like a night light, a helmet light. This looks like a pretty bright light on a tower. There's a lighthouse and glow sticks. Lighthouse light. The problem. Boats may sink if they run into a rock. Rocks are hard to see at night. People in boats need a way to stay safe from rocks at night. The solution. Engineers designed bright lights to warn people in boats. The lights tell people where the rocks are. So this lighthouse lights tell people where the rocks are. And this photo shows a lighthouse up close. Headlamps, the problem. People like to climb in dark caves. They cannot hold lights because they need their hands for climbing. The solution? Engineers designed helmets with lights on them. These are called headlamps. This woman is wearing a headlamp in a dark cave. A headlamp has a light on the front. Signal lamps, the problem. Sometimes sailors want to send secret messages from one boat to another. They don't want to use a phone or a radio because somebody might hear them. The solution. <coughs> Engineers design signal lamps. Sailors use these lamps to flash light at another boat far away. They flash the lamp on and off in a pattern. The pattern is a code. Sailors on the other boat see the flashes and understand the secret message. And this sailor is sending a message with a light. Glow sticks, the problem. When people are outside at night, it's hard to see them. The solution. Engineers design sticks that glow in the dark. Holding a glow stick helps people see you at night. Glow sticks are also fun. Glow sticks come in different colors. This girl's holding a glow stick. Night lights, the problem. Some people want just a little bit of light when they're going to bed. 
Engineers designed night lights. This night light has a bulb that is not very bright. It sends out just a little bit of light. A night light only needs a, sends out a little bit of light. And some people like a little bit of light at night. Designing things that block light or let light pass through. Sometimes engineers need to block light. Light comes from sources and it gets to different surfaces. To block light, engineers put material between the light source and the surface that they want to make darker. Different materials block different amounts of light. An engineer may want to block all the light, some of the light, or none of the light. Light that is not blocked passes through the material to the other side. Engineers think about what materials to use when they're designing solutions. Welding helmets, the problem. Some tools make very bright light. Workers need to protect their eyes from the light, but they still need to be able to see. The solution. Engineers design welding helmets. A welding helmet has a window made of special material. The material blocks most of the light, but it lets a little bit of light through. You can see through the window to do your work. This man is wearing a welding helmet. A welding helmet has a window in the middle and it blocks most of the light. Window blinds, the problem. Sometimes people want light coming in through the window. At other times, they don't want any light coming in through the window. The solution. Engineers designed window blinds. The blinds are made of material that doesn't let any light go through. You can open the blinds or close them. When the blinds are closed, they block the light. Window blinds block sunlight. Beach umbrellas. People like to sit on the beach on sunny days, but it can be hot in the sunlight. People want to sit in the shade. The solution. Engineers design beach umbrellas. These large umbrellas have thick cloth that makes most of the light, that blocks most of the light and lets almost no light through. A beach umbrella makes a shadow on the beach where people can sit down. So right here, you can see that the umbrella is giving her a little shadow to play in. Beach umbrellas block sunlight to make shade. Insulated windows, the problem. When it's very cold outside, people spend most of their time inside warm buildings. Still, people want to be in the sunlight. People want to let the sunlight into buildings, but keep cold air out. The solution. Engineers designed insulated windows. These windows keep it warm inside because they block cold air from coming in. The windows block air, but they don't block much light at all. They are clear and they let almost all the light go through them. Insulated windows block cold air from coming in, but they don't block much sunlight. Many insulated windows have two layers of glass. Swim shirts. The problem. People like to go swimming on sunny days. Too much sunlight can give you a sunburn. People need to protect their skin. The solution. Engineers design swim shirts. A swim shirt covers your skin. It blocks the sunlight from getting to your skin. A swim shirt lets you play in the sunlight without getting a sunburn. This boy is wearing a swim shirt. Swim shirts are made of material that blocks light. <coughs> Shadow puppets. The problem. People like to tell stories with shadows. They want to make shadows that look like characters from stories. The solution. Artists designed shadow puppets. Artists sometimes design solutions like engineers do. Shadow puppets. Artists shine a light on a screen and they make a puppet to block some of the light. The puppet is in the shape of a character and it makes a shadow in the shape of the character. Shadow puppets block light in the shape of a character. Display cases, the problem. Museums have lots of things from long ago. And these things are rare and they break easily. Museums want people to be able to look at things but not touch them. The solution, engineers design display cases. A display case 
keeps the things in a museum safe. The display case blocks people's hands from touching, but it doesn't block much light. The display case lets almost all the light go through so people can see the things inside. A display case keeps people's hands out, but lets light go through. Tinted windows, the problem. People want light inside a building, but they don't want too much light. The solution, engineers design tinted windows. The windows let some light through and they block the rest of the light. And this photo shows part of a tinted window. The glass blocks some light and lets some light go through. You can see how the glass is a little bit darker. And this building has tinted windows. And I think that's why you cannot see in and you see a reflection in the windows is because they're tinted, they have a dark film on them. Designing things that reflect light. Some engineers need to reflect light. When light reflects, it bounces off a surface. A mirror reflects lots of light. Engineers often use shiny materials to reflect light. Emergency signal mirror. The problem. Sometimes hikers become lost in the woods. Rescuers send planes to try to find them, but a plane, but from a plane, it's hard to see a person in the woods. Hikers need a way to send a signal to a search plane flying high overhead. The solution, engineers design signal mirrors. A lost hiker can use the mirror to reflect sunlight in flashes. People in search planes can see the flashes of light. They reflected light sends a signal and it tells the people in the plane that the lost hiker is below. And this mirror reflects light to send a signal. Safety vests. The problem, when people are outside at night, it's hard to see them. The solution, engineers design safety vests. The vests are made of shiny materials that reflect lots of light. They look bright wearing a safety vest, helps people see you at night. And this boy's wearing a safety vest and safety vests reflect light. Disco balls, the problem. People want a new way to have fun. The solution, engineers design disco balls. People shine a light on a ball and the ball spins and reflects light in all directions. Disco balls are just for fun. And this disco ball is reflecting dots of light on the wall. A disco ball has little mirrors all over it. Designing sound sources. Just like light, every sound comes from a source. When engineers design sound sources, they think about what needs to vibrate to make a sound. They think about how loud or soft the sound should be and what they want it to sound like. Speakers, the problem. When a rock star sings on stage, big crowds come to listen. People have to be able to hear the music from far away. The solution, engineers design speakers. Big speakers make powerful vibrations. They make the music louder and the loud sound gets to everyone's ears. Lots of people came to hear the rock star sing. These are big speakers. They make the music louder. Lithotripter. The problem. Sometimes pieces of hard material from inside a person's body The, part, the hard material can cause pain Oh, and other problems in the body. Doctors need a way to break up the pieces of hard material. The solution, engineers designed the lithotripter. The name sounds like lithotripter. The machine sends sounds into a person's body. The sound makes the pieces of hard material vibrate. The vibrations break up the pieces that they are, so that they are small enough to not hurt the person anymore. And this is a lith, this person is sick. The doctors are using a lithotripter to help her get better. Wow, that's interesting. Tornado siren, the problem. Tornadoes are dangerous storms that happen suddenly. When a tornado is coming, weather scientists need a way to warn everyone quickly. The solution, engineers designed tornado sirens. These sirens have speakers that vibrate to make very loud sounds. The sounds can be heard over long distances. In places where tornadoes happen, people listen for the sound of the tornado siren. And when they hear the siren, they know a tornado is coming. Everybody gets to safety. This siren uses sound to warn people a tornado is coming. Kitar, the problem. 
People like the sound of a piano, but a piano is too big to carry around. The solution, engineers design keytars. A keytar has keys like a piano. It sounds like a piano, but it's small enough to carry around. This man is playing a keytar, and a keytar has keys like a piano. Headphones, the problem. People like to listen to music, but the sound might bother somebody else. People want to listen to music without bothering anybody. The solution, engineers design headphones. Headphones play music close to a person's ears. The vibrations go straight to that person's ears. Only the person wearing the headphones can hear the music. This kid is wearing headphones. Headphones play music. Hydrolophone, the problem. People want new ways to make music. Engineers designed the, the hydrolophone. The name sounds like hi, draw, la, phone. Water squirts from pipes and holes to make sounds. The water vibrates. The sounds can be higher and lower, and they make a new kind of music. A hydrolophone uses water to make music. Wow. Designing things that block sound. Sometimes engineers need to block sound. To block a sound, an engineer needs to stop the vibrations from getting from a source to people's ears. Earplugs, the problem. Sometimes it's too noisy. People need something to block the sound. The solution, engineers designed earplugs that block sound. They stop vibrations from coming into the ear. People put earplugs into their ears. Earplugs block sound. Soundproof room. The problem, musicians like to record their music and when they record, they only want sound of the music. They want to block any sound from outside. The solution, engineers design soundproof rooms. A soundproof room has walls that stop vibrations. The walls block almost all sound from outside. The wall of this room blocks sound. No sound can come in from outside. This material is good for blocking sound. People often use material like this to make soundproof rooms. Designing things that use both light and sound. To solve some problems, engineers need to use what they know about light and sound. Sound and light are different in many ways, but they have important things in common. For example, sound and light both come from a source and they can both be blocked. Sirens and flashing lights, the problem. Firefighters drive fast on the way to a fire. They need a way to warn people to get out of the way. The solution, engineers design sirens and flashing lights. Sirens use sound, loud sounds to warn people. Flashing lights warn people too. Fire trucks are loud. They have bright lights. Fire trucks have lights like this one. It flashes to warn people. Fire trucks have sirens like this one. It makes a loud sound. Alarm clocks, the problem. People sometimes need to get up early in the morning and they need something to wake them up. Engineers designed alarm clocks. Many alarm clocks make loud sounds to wake people up. Other alarm clocks use light to wake people up instead of sound. Some people are deaf and they can't hear sounds. They need an alarm clock with a light. This alarm clock lights up. This alarm clock makes a loud sound. This is the glossary and we talked about this in the beginning of the book. And the glossary lists important vocabulary words that have been mentioned in the book and it gives you their definition. This is an important feature of a nonfiction text. And this is an index. And the index lists many important words that were listed in the book. And it doesn't give you a definition, but it tells you what pages in the book these words were mentioned on. So the index can also be a very useful um, feature of a nonfiction text. This book is Engineering with Light and Sound from Amplify Science. I hope you loved it.